joining me. Welcome to a little late night crafting. I'm in my guest bedroom slash studio excited about a Valentine's Day home decor project that you will love. I hope as much as I do. It has a bit of whimsy. My name is Linda. I'm with Gotta Be Handmade. And let me share with you all the things you'll need for this project. Tonight, I'm in the chair because I needed a small table. Let me show you the things that you'll need for this project. You don't meet, need many things. And what you'll need, you already have. I'm pretty certain of that. Let me show you. Here's what you need. First, you're going to need some of these. You know what these are? These are those wooden stick sticks that you get when you purchase paint. These happen to come from the Home Depot. And these are the large ones. My husband and I are painting in our new property because we're going to move soon. And they give you these wonderful stirrers. That's what they are called. And these are the giant ones because we bought the five gallon um, container of paint. You're going to need one of those. Now let me show you what I did with mine. I had my husband to drill a hole right here in the top. This side is used for Home Depot to um, market their product and remind you that you're getting your paint from them. But we're going to use this side. I had the whole drill and that's where we will hang this when we, we are finished. So you're going to need one of those. That template of the heart that we use to create our Valentine's Day card, that's what you're going to need for this project. Now, if you uh, didn't download it, just go to my Twitter page or my Facebook page. I posted it in both. And this is what you would download. I give you three different sizes. And we're going to use this one. And we're going to use a small uh, heart. I had one just a bit smaller than this one. So if you'd like you can just uh, shrink the size of this one and use this one. You're going to need this one and you're going to need this one. I mean, uh, yes. Wait a minute. Let me make certain. I'm sorry. You're going to need the medium and the small. So uh, if you haven't downloaded that, make certain that you do. You're going to need this cork um, sheet. Now, I'm using the pink. Thank you for the hearts, and thank you for joining me. You can use red, or you can use pink, and there are various shades of both that you can choose from. This is not cork. This is foam, and on the back, it peels, and you have the sticky side. So you're going to need one of those. I had this left over from another project that we did, and I, it, it's pink, so Valentine's Day, we're going to use that. On the back is where you are going to place your template of the heart. Let me see. There we go. And you're going to trace it. You'll need a pencil. And then you're going to cut that out. And like I said, you need a small one, and I also had needed a three small ones. So you're going to need that. You're also going to need some sort of paper in a different shade for um, one of your very small hearts. You're going to have two out of the one that you create, the medium heart, and you're going to have one out of a different uh, color. I'm choosing red because this was left over and I needed just a very small amount. So you'll need that. And this is the heart, let me find it, that I created for that. And if you'd like to get that template, just let me know. And I'll post it on the uh, Twitter page and you can download it. It's just a little bit smaller than the one on the template that I already have there now. But this is the one that I uh, cut out. And you're going to need three. And you're going to need 
this long, which is 17 inch um, copy paper. You're going to need one sheet of that. It's just like regular copy paper, only it's a bit longer. And let's get started. I can't wait to share with you what we're going to do. We are going to create a whimsical uh, Valentine's, Happy Valentine's Day home decor to place on our door to welcome visitors to our home and you are going to enjoy this project. It's very easy and you will be able to share this if you'd like to make one for someone else. So let's get started. I took that cork, uh, I keep saying cork, I took the foam piece and like I said on the back, I traced my template and just cut it out. So that's this piece. This will become the body to our um, decoration. You're gonna place this on the paint stirrer. This is it. You're gonna place this on the stirrer and it already has the adhesive on the back. You're gonna need the one that you had, the small one that you uh, cut out of something different. I use red paper. And you see, I just drew a simple little happy face on it. Yep, you guessed it. That's going to become the head. And let me show you the legs. These will be the legs of our little welcome Happy Valentine's Day project. Let me share with you how you create the legs. And this is something that you probably already know how to do. Now, I simply used the stick as a ruler to trace my, as a straight edge, to trace my lines on my copy paper. And I use both sides. And that's what I chose to use to create the width. And I just eyeballed it. I sat it in the center after I traced that line. You can see it, the both sides. And I used this to kind of center it a bit. Placed it back on there. Just eyeballed it. Because this doesn't have to be accurate. After all, it's handmade. It's going to be fun. There are my lines. Let me pick it up so you can see it. There they are. They go all the way across the length of the paper. And when you cut these out, you'll end up with two separate strips. And that's what you need. You're going to need four of those. And cut them the lengthwise. When you cut them out, you'll have two pieces just like this. Now, this is how you put them together. And the reason that I wanted to sit at the table tonight. You take the ends and you cross them. And you'll be creating like an L. Just like that. And you take those together right at that end. Just take, put a little piece of tape to secure that. And you're going to do just like you did, I'm sure, in school. You're going to take this one. Not the one that that overlaps the one underneath and you're going to fold it over that one just like that and crease it. I hope you can see. You're going to take this long one that's away from you and you're going to bring it toward you and you're going to crease right there keeping it even with this one. You're going to take this one that's in your left hand and you're going to go and cross it to your right and crease. You're creating a fold. And you just continue doing that away from you, from your right to your left, crease in front of you, back toward you, crease from your left to your right, crease. And you're going to keep going 
just like that, back and forth, until you have the entire two pieces woven together. You're going to keep doing that. Keep going. And you keep it as straight as possible. It's not going to be accurate because they are not evenly cut. And it doesn't matter. Keep going, keep going, keep going until you run out of one side. Now this one ends up with a piece that's a little bit longer. You see when it's entirely folded up, you're just going to cut off the excess and you're going to tape it down. Now let me show you how you tape it. You have these two pieces. You're going to slide the tape right underneath those last two. Stick them down and bring the excess up and over. And look, watch this. When you pull it apart, that's what you have. This accordion piece. And that's going to become the legs and the arms. Let's put it together. You have everything you need. You're going to need two for the legs and two for the arms. Now, I created the arms a little bit shorter than the legs because I didn't have time to make them longer. But you're going to make yours the same length, the legs and the arms. So you're going to take your, your paint stirrer. Now, this is the handle part. This is the rest of it. You're going to take this part because you're going to use this to hang it. I'm going to put it on the table and we're going to put together our little Valentine's Day gentlemen or misses. Peel the back off of your body, which is the medium heart that's on the template. You're going to peel that back and off. You see? And it's sticky. And wherever pleases you, you place that body down and it's going to adhere to the stick just like that. You see? Then you're going to take the face part. That's why you're going to need a Sharpie. I forgot to tell you, you need a Sharpie. And this is very easy. I hope you can. Let me see if I can do this where you can see it. All I did was made a circle for the eyes. Circle for the nose. And let me draw the happy smiling, big smiling face. I'm going to go over it twice because we really want that smile to stand out. Here's the smile. There's my smiling heart face right there. Okay. We are going to stick it right there to create the face. Now, all I'm going to use is this tape. Just take the tape. Roll it on itself to make a circle. Stick it on the back. And place it right in the center. A little bit above the body. Giving the illusion of a neck. After you do that, it's time for the legs. I have the two accordion legs. And we're going to open out the end right there on the end gives us a nice place to kind of raise this up and you see the heart has the glue side and we're going to stick those right on that glued edge and we're going to raise up this one stick it right under that heart Wherever you'd like. Because remember, I told you, this one has a sense of whimsy. There are the legs. Thank you for the hearts and thank you for joining me. Now we're going to do the same thing for the arms. I only have one arm. You're going to create two. Stick it right under the heart. Because remember, it has the glue. 
and let me raise my telephone and back him up. There he is. A little happy Valentine's Day person with the wiggling legs. So if you hang it on your front door, every time you open and close the door, you get a little breeze. His accordion legs and arms are going to move. Now we haven't quite finished. The reason that you needed three of those tiny hearts, you needed one for the head. And you need two for the feet. Let's put the feet on. You're going to just take the tape and tape those right down. Oh, I'm sorry. I, cr I created my two small hearts out of the adhesive back phone board, uh, sheet. So I'm going to just stick mine down right on the bottom of his accordion leg. I'm going to get the second one, peel the back and all, and see it's, it really sticks great glue. And we're going to stick that heart right there on his accordion foot. And I'm not going to adhere this to him now or her, but I print it out in a simple word document. Happy Valentine's Day. Now this uh, letter font is a bit whimsical. I think that's the one I'd use. And then this one says Happy Valentine's Day. Either one, whatever you choose, you could easily just take your scissors. Remember to use those that you wouldn't mind using on paper and cut it out. Doesn't have to be accurate, doesn't have to be perfect. This is a handmade home decor project. Just cut it out. I cut mine out like that. And you can take your tape and let's tape that down right above him where it looks like he may even be wearing a happy Valentine's Day cap. Let's see what it looks like. Let's kind of put that on the edge of his head and see. Press it down with the tape. Here we go. Let me raise the camera. There he is with his accordion legs and his heart shoes on. And you can hang this right on your front door to welcome all of your guests and to say, have a happy Valentine's Day, which is what I'm wishing you. I thank you for joining me tonight for a little late night crafting, and I hope you create one for your door. If you do, share your photographs with me. Like me on Facebook at Gotta Be Handmade. Follow me on Twitter at Gotta Be Handmade and post your pictures there. Let me see what you created and tell me if you used any of the things that I'm teaching you. Remember, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11.11, it's time for a little late night crafting. Thank you for joining me because, you know, for the best, it's just Gotta Be Handmade. Good night.